Okay, so you've got an Xperia device, but you've got a Mac computer, and you're probably wondering how to sync all your stuff across. Now, with this, what I'm going to show you is from what you're used to seeing on iTunes, where you sync your iPod or your iPhone, you know that your music gets synced from iTunes, your movies go from the movies within iTunes, your photos come from iPhoto, and then the tab all the way over on the right is Info, where it actually syncs your contacts from address book and your calendar from iCal. So because address book and iCal are programs on a Mac, you can actually set these up to work on your Android phone without having to actually do much. So all you need to know is that because you use Xperia and we use Android, you have to have a Gmail account to really get this thing off the ground. So what I've done is created a Gmail account. I'm logging in. And what you'll notice in my Gmail is I don't have any mail. If I go into my contacts, I don't have any contacts. Um, and you know what? I've got a ton of contacts in my address book. And I've synced them all the time through iTunes. And they're syncing to address book. So how do I sync them to my new Gmail account? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. You just go to File. You go to Export. And you take all your contacts and just save it as whatever you want wherever you want on your Mac and then what you do is you go back to the Gmail folder you just created you go under contacts and you go into import contacts and you just need to choose that file you just saved once I click OK and open once you'll notice that basically they just come right into Gmail Now they're all there. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, so I've imported them, right? But now in the future, when I add contacts, how do I know that they're still syncing? Well, what's really cool is in address book, you can go to the preferences, and under preferences, it actually gives you the options to under accounts to synchronize your address book with a Google account. So agree to the terms and conditions, type in your Gmail account that you created, and put in the password, click OK, and basically now whenever you add a contact in address book, it syncs to your Gmail account through the cloud, which of course because your Gmail account's on your phone, it also syncs into your phone. This of course means it works the other way around. If you add a contact on your phone under your Gmail account, it syncs to your Gmail on your computer, which of course also syncs to your address book. Now calendar is the other thing. So up at the top bar, you click on calendar. What you'll notice is because it's a brand new account, there's no calendar dates or appointments. And then if I bring up iCal, again for September, I have nothing. So similar to before, I go to iCal, I go to preferences, I go to accounts, I go to add account, and I click Google. I just put in my Google account just like this put in the password I click create and now you can actually set up how often you want it to be syncing in the refresh category you can do a bunch of different options I'm gonna do every minute um, and now what you just need to remember is anytime you add an event in here if you want it to go to your Gmail account, make sure to actually select your Gmail account. So I'm just going to title this event uh, demo. And I'm going to create a few of these so you guys know that um, I'm going to actually sh have them show up in multiple places on my calendar. So I'm going to do um, a few different places here. And now if I go back to um, the calendar on the web browser I'll actually see these events come up because they just happened you may have to do refresh like I'm gonna do here but as you can clearly see now the events have been added and of course let's say I'm on the web and I hear about a new event I'm just going to click on a random day put in demo number three create the event now that it's on the 18th, if I go back to iCal, 
You'll notice that it's not there yet because I only told it to refresh every minute and it hasn't been a minute yet. But if I go to refresh manually, boom, the event shows up right there. So if you've got five minutes and you got a Mac, you can set up your Mac in Xperia to wirelessly sync your address book and contacts.